just leant yeah. forward. No, I did. <clears throat> That's how you watch that show. No one watches that show so going. Very good. Yeah, it's just chicken ghost something. Everyone watches it like this. <laughs> but you're so polite to the ghosts, aren't you? Sometimes you're like, hi I'm there. Not. Sometimes I'm not. But a lot of the time it's fear. You know, hi there, don't yeah. harm me. You know. And it's funny because we do like um, we get people, um, members of the public, fans to come and join us on a on an experience, and you can come and join us ghost hunting. Anybody can come along. And whenever I say, go on, you ask out, you ask. No, no, nobody wants to ask out because they're frightened that something's going to yeah. follow them. But would your belief <laughs> be that most most ghosts or spirits or whatever's there don't necessarily wish us any ill intent? What it depends. It depends where you go. So, for instance, um, there's many prisons, uh, places that have had lots of angst, like for for instance, old workhouses, old hospitals, right, old feel asylums. Feel the bones of it, sort of. Yeah. So, th so the atmosphere is, you know, the building has soaked up all that yeah. angst over the years, and you will go in, and there will be some very unpleasant spirits that are grounded, and they don't want you there, and they'll do anything they can to get you out, and it, it can be very frightening at times. And have you met some nice spirits as well? Yes, some very nice spirits. I remember we did a, a live show at RAF Raynham, and um, we were doing a Ouija board, and, and I said, what year do you think it is? And they kept saying, it's 1940. I said, no, it's not, and I think it was something like 2030. I said, it's 2030. No, the glass went over to no. And they were adamant that wow. the war was still happening, um, and they kept um, knocking and tapping under the table. We couldn't work out what it was. And there was a, a Morse code expert phoned the show live and said, it's Morse code. And they're saying, SOS, take cover. So we actually drew a dot and a dash on the Ouija board. And then they started wow. giving us messages using no. Morse code, which is amazing. What yeah. do you think? It's incredible. Because this, this building is steeped in history. You were here with Blue Peter, yes. Dad's Army. We had talking about Ian Lavender the yeah. other day. Some of Dad's Army was filmed, yeah. TVC. And he goes here. Oh, absolutely, there's bound to be. I would absolutely love, 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 love to be here with my team just on our own. Really? All the lights off. And I bet we would get some great EVP, which is electronic voice phenomena. I reckon we could get some amazing voices and activity. It would be fabulous. Listen, let's talk about this. Yeah. This, this, we're really here to talk about the Kidsville, which is most haunted theatres, which is lovely because it has that kind of horrible history vibe. Right? Kids love being spooked and they love, and they love history. Yeah. So, and obviously theatres are sort of such a huge part of our of our history in this country. So what have you found? Oh, gosh, uh, so many. If you think um, of all the 22, 23 years I've been investigating haunted locations, and one of the first locations I investigated was the Theatre Royal in Drury Lane, mm -hmm. and that was just incredible. And it was the first time I'd actually seen what I thought, I wasn't on my own, there were three of us, a ghost. What, you actually saw something? It, it wasn't a full, get this, it yeah. was a pair of legs. No. <laughs> it was just a pair of legs. And the, the, what happened was, you never go to the loo on your own in a haunted room. You just don't. No. I never do. I'll even leave the door open to the cubicle. I don't care who watches me. <laughs> You're not leaving me on yeah. my own. And so the three of us were walking down a corridor and we all, it's on the show, and um, we all stop because coming up the main staircase are a pair of legs with over-the-knee leather boots, I call them Dick Turpin boots, right. walking almost in slow motion up the stairs. And all three of us saw it exactly the same time, turned and, and just ran. And, and have you got the footage of that? Not the foot. Well, you can see our reaction, because yeah. we, I was going to the loo, didn't have a camera with me, did I? But you can see our re reaction on a locked-off camera oh. on the hall. But it was really fascinating. What age range do you reckon? Oh, goodness me. It's a tricky one, isn't it? Wait yeah, it, I mean, it's, it? it's nine plus, but I sort of... I, I think children will enjoy it and also um, people that are into the paranormal will yeah. enjoy it. Um, but I also volunteer and I teach at school on a Monday and they're all reading it and they're, they're really loving it. And nice. I say, how, how spooky would you like... Oh. The spookier, the better. We like to shake under the duvet, you know. Yeah, I went to go and see this one in Panto, stormed it, smashed it, <laughs> at the Birmingham Hippodrome. It's amazing. Now, it's quite an old building, I'd say. The yeah. Hippodrome, and I've been in that dressing room on my own quite a bit. Did you ever feel anything when no, you were there? No, nothing at all. Were you there sort of late at night at any point? The on thing your is own? with me, Yvette, if I even if I did feel something, I would deny it and just go, oh, it's someone next door. Right. I okay. would never admit that there was a ghost because it would frighten me too oh, much. Right, because there there is supposed to be a presence there that sort of likes to it makes you feel like someone's watching you, particularly in one of the dressing rooms. I don't know which dressing room Nine you were day. in. Oh, I don't know which one it is, yeah, but it's de yeah, it's definitely that one. <laughs> Somebody was watching you. What do you think the fascination is, though? Because I mean, your tour is going on to 2025. It's yeah. sold out, and literally, 
What do you, why do you think we love it so much? I just think the burning question is, what on earth is this all about? Why, yeah. are, we, why are we here? Yeah. And also, what happens to us when we die? And I think it's very important to sort of... I didn't believe in life after death before I did this. I honestly thought, when you're dead, you're dead. And it really depressed me, it really got me down. And now I know, after all the evidence and everything that I've seen, there is life after death. And so I think it's, if you can, it's giving hope to people um, and sharing your stories, them sharing stories with us to sort of say, you know, there is life after death. What got you into it in the first place? Because like you said, you came at it as, as yeah. a sceptical point of view. Oh God, I mean, I, I don't know if you remember, um, but there used to be a programme called Strange But True on ITV yes. with Michael Asper. Well, I, I love that. that show, but then if it got a bit spooky, I'd, I'd, I'd have nightmares. So I was always interested in it, but then later on in life, um, um, it was just an idea that Carl and I came up with. And he'd said to me, he went, listen, he said, would you spend the night alone in a haunted house? Well, there's a lot of expletives came out of my <laughs> mouth at that point. I thought you can, you know. Anyway, and then he said, yeah, 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 but what if it was with a film crew? And I went, oh, yes, I could do that. And we'd watch Blair Witch a couple of months oh, beforehand. So and I went, oh, we could That's film it like do. Blair Witch. Yes. I said, the snot up the nose, everything, yeah. we could do that, everything. And, and that's how it came about. And the original title was um, Yvette's Haunting Truths. Obviously, Most Haunted is a lot better because we changed the title. I liked when you did it with the celebrities. <gasps> Who was your favourite celebrity? The Happy Mondays. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Was that good? I, that, they, I oh, love to see that. Know, it's coming out on the official YouTube channel. Brilliant. Um, it's coming and out. And the Girls Aloud it was great. And the Girls Aloud was great as well. But it Paul was... Paul O'Grady. Paul... Oh, God. He was great. Hey, that, don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, love. Don't you worry, love. <laughs> Anything happens, I'm with you. And it, the first thing that would happen, he would be the first one out <laughs> screaming, leaving me on my own. <laughs> oh, I do miss him. He was such a... He was my nice. paranormal friend. And lastly, I loved him. a memoir coming out. What can we expect from that? Oh, the memoir, you, yes. So we get all the juicy Richard. gossip Yes, that. you do. do behind they? the scenes. Obviously, in a memoir, it's you growing up stories of, of what happened, but also my stories of, you know, um, coming to London for the first time, joining Blue Peter, and then, you know, Most Haunted. But also people will hear stories that I've never told before about how I resigned from Most Haunted because I was so terrified, oh. how it affected my life, how some of the investigations, when you see your fellow, well, your friends being physically hurt, burned, scratched. Oh, my goodness. It, it, then you go, hang on a minute. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Yeah. So it's the sort of behind the scenes of what really happens well, in my story. So. Good luck with it. Good. Oh, we can't wait for the memoir. And thank this you. book is out. Yvette's a book, Most Haunted Theatres, is out now. Yeah. And also tickets for the Most Haunted Live is available now as well. So thank you so no, much. No, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Yeah.